Hey guys, I am back from uh, with another video. This is a Too Faced Lust Blush, long lasting 16 hour blush. Um, I, I feel like, um, first of all, I, I know we're not like this so many controversies, but luckily, I think the last, I think I have purchased most of the products right before COVID, um, before COVID. Um, so that's good in my opinion. But after COVID, I think I haven't really purchased anything after COVID from Too Faced, I think. Uh, besides the, well, actually, you know what? I may be wrong. I think I got their, um, the eyeliner for the waterline after COVID. So I may be wrong on that information. But other than that, um, I'm trying not to purchase them for, from them again. So I'm trying to figure out who to purchase the waterline from, the eyeliner for the waterline. I think there were some companies that they were being mentioned. So I'm going to look into it and let you guys know because that's one of the things that I do often buy. But right now, I haven't, uh, I'm not going to purchase more because I do have quite a few right now. But, um, okay, so let me start with the whole six. Uh, this is the, the Love Flesh line and the shade is I Will Always Love You. Now... This is how it looks like. Um, now, this is... Uh, okay, so I think in one of my other videos, I was mentioning that this is probably... Me swatching my hands on is not the best. This is giving more of like an orangey shade, honestly. But I think I can get away with this because... Um, uh, I'm, I'm going to start off pretty light and then build it up from there. Um and i think the good thing about this is that you can start off light um i'm gonna repurchase this probably not because um i feel like i am not digging the powder blush as much as i am with this i actually feel like i actually like this qual uh this texture more um which is from elf honestly but um However, I do want to talk about the whole 16 hour blush because this is just my own experience. Um, if you guys did not have the experience, please do let me know in the comment section below. However, my experience has been that um, the rest of the products that I have for blush on does not mention anything about being long lasting or last for 16 hours and stuff. But I have noticed that it still lasts long unless if I like decide to go and smudge it myself with the finger and stuff. So I feel like, in my opinion, you, you don't have to agree, but in my opinion, I feel like the long lasting 16 hours is just more of like, you know how you go online and you, you say clickbait, it's something like that. I feel like it's just trying to attract more consumers by saying that for the blush on, but I feel like when it comes to blush on, I am not going to, I feel like it's, pointless i feel like that would be more a clipable a clipable I, I feel like i'm pronouncing that word wrong but i feel like the 16 hour last long lasting part will make more sense with something like lipsticks honestly because i feel like the lipsticks especially the one that you know we were used to purchase before um something like like these ones these definitely i feel like um, you know, that's what we were having before. So I feel like those are something that were not long lasting. So eventually they started coming out with products that were uh, lipsticks that would be long lasting. So it makes sense more for like mentioning that for lipsticks as of right now, because obviously we want something that is long lasting when it comes to lipsticks and lip glosses, lip stains and stuff like that. But I, th I think for blushes, blush ons, I think that is something that would not cross my mind because I feel like that always stays on your face to begin with unless like i mentioned that you're smudging it or whatever with your face with your fingers so in my opinion i feel like the long lasting 16 hours part is completely irrelevant and just for i, I feel like probably i'm gonna do probably consumer attraction to get people to buy purchases um so yeah uh i feel like that's something i would take into consideration when it comes to something like blush on and like contours and stuff i personally um i haven't really been for like i mentioned in my other videos for like blush ons and stuff i really haven't really been focusing on purchasing blush ons and contours and stuff so i don't really know if the more recent blush ons and contours have been mentioning those on their products um but 
I feel like that's something you should not really be too crazy fo crazy focusing on uh, when purchasing something like blush ons but I would be okay with looking at something like that when it comes to more like lip lipsticks, lip lip glosses, lip stains and stuff like that if that's what you're looking for like long lasting lipsticks and stuff so yeah other than that, if you guys want me to look into any other products, please let me know in the comment section below. Other than that, I'll be going to get both my strung out pages. Make sure to follow, hit the subscribe button, the bell button. And I'll be back for more. Stay safe and stay tuned, guys.